Good afternoon, it's uh, sunny Belfast I'm on Victoria Road here one of the main arteries around the city some nice architecture in that building across the road bit of street art at the bottom end which I've videoed before Planning ride and I'm coming to the Albert Clock which I've videoed before as well a group of guys on the left hand side beside the wildflowers uh, homeless guys and they all waved at me and all the rest when I was coming in and I'm in beside St George's Parish Church just over the wall here but you're coming along here and you see something very strange and it looks as if it's a, just a, another part of the wall uh, maybe this older part of the wall has, has been knocked down and you've got this here and it looks as if it's uh, been bricked up and I'm on a rant here folks I think this this is I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. During a, this, this is the Belfast Troubles Memorial. And nobody knows what it is because you're walking by it and you haven't a clue. And it's got little tiles in it. Uh, they're brown and they're green. And they're numbered. And that's about it. Mm, what the dickens is this? And this is supposed to be the Belfast Troubles Memorial. Is this the best we can do, Belfast City Council and Northern Ireland Fat Cats Assembly? Is this the best we can do to remember the dead of the Troubles? And I'm not even I'm not even referring to the the uh, the paramilitary dead. I'm not referring to the the, the police and army dead. I'm referring to the civilian dead. And this is this is the only remembrance in the whole of Belfast to the civilian dead. They had no, no allegiance to orange, green or, or anything else. They were innocent. They weren't in the security forces, they weren't in the paramilitaries, they were innocent. And how many of them were there? There were 1,820 of these civilians caught in indiscriminate bombs left by whoever. IRA, UVF, UDA, whatever. But the vast majority, has to be said, were left by the IRA. And they killed Protestants, Catholics and everybody else of no religious affiliation. 70 civilians alone were killed in Belfast city centre and this is this is the way that we remember them this is a joke it's a, it's a sick joke and I, I'm enraged by this I, I'm not trying to decry the the, the 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 guy who sculpted this and and poor scorn on him but you know, surely Belfast City Council and the Northern Ireland Assembly can remember our, our civilian dead in the, in the recent troubles, 1969 through to, what, the, the late 90s. Surely they can do better than this. Hidden away here in a wee, in a wee back sort of water, backwater. Nobody, nobody would see this. Nobody knows what it is. My goodness. So what have we got here? We've got Dublin artist uh, Robert Ballack and his mosaic of green and brown tiles sequenced 1 to, one to 1,500 on the perimeter wall of St George's Parish Church. 
Now there's a, there, there are other memorials to uh, the Belfast dead. There's there's a memorial in a Lagenside, Lagenside bus station to the employees there that were blown to bits in a bomb. There's, there's I don't know, three, four or five busmen were killed there. They've got a prominent memorial, a plaque. And this is the best that we can do for 1,820 civilian deaths in Belfast. My goodness gracious, the, the Titanic dead are remembered far, far better. Round at the City Hall. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't know. And I, I have just discovered this by accident. So if I have discovered it by accident, then I would reckon 99% of the Belfast population haven't a clue that this is here. Altogether, 3,532 people were killed in the recent Belfast Troubles. 1,840 civilians, along with 47,500 casualties, and these people lost legs and arms and everything, you know. So 1,840 civilians died. Overall, there were three and a half thousand deaths. Well, you can imagine that there. Well, there was almost a, a thousand British Army and RUC killed, UDR, and the rest were made up of uh, IRA and UVF and, and folks like that. But I have to emphasise that the. 1,840 people were just going about their business, trying to make a living, and they were blown to bits or shot, and they're not even remembered in Belfast in any any visible way because this is this is hidden, this is hidden. You just you wouldn't make out what this is, and there's a wee there's a wee round circle at the bottom giving you some indication. I have to get down to Neil to, to actually see what it says. And I'm disgusted by this. I am disgusted. The Belfast City Council and the Northern Ireland Assembly can't do a better job of remembering our civilian dead from the Troubles. Totally innocent. Totally. And and this is the best that they can do. This is a scandal that needs addressing now. This is an insult to the dead. And this is an insult to their relatives of those dead. Maybe they just want to sweep them under the carpet and forget about them. That's what it appears to be. Ridiculous sculptures in the centre of Belfast. The, the onion rings being one, and and uh, thousands of pounds spent on that. And this is the best the Belfast City Council and the Northern Ireland Assembly can do to remember our civilian dead. I'm I'm, I'm enraged, folks. I'm enraged. Please forgive me, but you know this drives me. Mental. Oh dear, 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 dear. I have to have to leave this. Or I'll say something I shouldn't. Sorry for bringing such a, a negative rant to uh, my channel, but somebody's got to say something. <laughs>